What's going on everybody, your host AMF1534 here, welcome back to Let's Play some more God of War 3. And in the last episode we got a bunch of things done, including finishing the It's Getting Hot in Here trophy for lighting 100 people on fire with our bow, and the Bloody Hell trophy for covering ourselves with 500 buckets of blood, which is disgusting, yet totally satisfying. The other thing that we just got done right before the episode was finished was we had an encounter with Helios that involved us ripping off his head clean from his body and uh, his new special ability allows us to use his head uh, to illuminate darkened areas and we're going to be doing that a bunch as it now becomes re literally one of the most important items in the game going pretty much the rest of the way forward so we will uh, we will be using it uh, it also can be used as a weapon as well one of our special weapons there is a an achievement that you can get with this, or a trophy, however you want to call it, uh, that we can get for using this to, I believe, kill 50 enemies with it. Uh, it certainly makes a lot more sense to use this as a weapon after you've powered it up more, because it is not a terribly powerful item on its own until it's been upgraded. Like, in, in its vanilla state, it is awful. <laughs> but I really just want to kill this one guy with it, because I've already invested about 30 seconds in it. So, <laughs> there we go. We, uh, we, won't, we won't use it to kill any more enemies until it, we're in much better shape, as far as that's concerned. So, this will force me to become much more, um, much more observant uh, of the environment, because there are a couple of, of little hidden things that I always seem to forget where they're at. So, I gotta be, I gotta be up on top of my game here going forward, but I think we're gonna be okay. This uh, Path of Eos, really, really not my jam. This is a very annoying area. There's a couple of enemies in here that I could really give two full squirts of piss less about, but we're going to have to deal with them anyways, so here we go. The Path of Eos. Those who see what the gods shall see shall find the path to Olympus. That's all fine and dandy, but it's... Uh, ugh, the, I don't like the path that they see. It is, it is not a fun one. Oops. My bad. Going back and rethinking on that one, I really do want to hit yes. <laughs> and a little bit, a little bit too quick with the wheel on that one. Okay, here we go. Let's let's move along. I can only imagine how annoying it would be for like speedrunners who obviously, because obviously his run cycle is a lot slower when you're not using it. So that's got to be extremely annoying to try to run around in the dark uh, with this thing. There we go. Um. But, I mean, I guess if you've played the game enough, you know exactly where everything is. Wow, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever done that before. Just decided to, you know, slay these guys in the dark. That looks so awesome. You can see, I mean, their blood is, like, illuminating the room, more or less. <laughs> it's so cool. Man, I need to do that more often. That's great. The things you learn when you try to take shortcuts, you know? Oh, fantastic. Alright, alright. We'll deal with these fools. Oh, we don't need to burn them, though, so that's that's great. We can actually just use the bow as nature intended. And uh, kill them the good old-fashioned way. Or we can, you know, just also do this, too. <laughs> Probably a way more effective avenue, because, you know, you can, you can do the old swirly gig thing here. That will certainly be a very swift doom for the majority of these little pieces of shit. I can't even see where most of them are at, but I'm going for it anyways. I kind of like the whole idea of doing this just as a silhouette in the background. Kind of reminds me of that uh, that one game that was for the Nintendo Wii uh, by Hudson Soft called Lost in Shadow, which I started up a series of that, and uh, I got my laptop stolen and had like, all my files for it on hand, and uh, ended up being just a lost LP of mine. Never, never ended up finishing it. Which I totally plan on doing it at some point, just haven't gotten around to it yet. There's another secret wall that we can uh, go into. We'll actually be going over there soon, because you can see that uh, that dark chest down there, so we will be going that way. It's actually, like, right over here, so... Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> God, nothing like getting a, a whole chest full of arrows to the sternum at point-blank range. <laughs> that that couldn't have felt very good. Here we go. Now we can now we can head on down the way here. Just uh, make sure instead of, you know, taking the little zipline thing immediately that you go down here first. 
That is one that I also have missed so many times playing this game. So, the more you know. And that's what forces you to be observant in this game, because you, you totally see these from uh, that cliff that we were on just fighting all those harpies, as I showed you. So, because when you come up to this, you there's no you don't see any way to go down there. So a lot of you know a lot of the time you just tend to not do it. God, I'm I really like the whole darkness factor of this. I've like never, for some reason, I feel like I've never paid attention before to that. There we go, and here we go. Let's uh, keep on moving along here. This is very well lit for a place I imagine not a really high volume of people are going to. But hey, you know, guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. 1600. I wonder how well that's going to get our head of Helios thing charged up. 2500. Yeah, once we get it maxed out, then uh, then that'll be good. Uh, we'll never have to really worry about it again. Um, so the faster we can do that, then the faster we can start working towards getting that trophy out of the way. Because that, that one's probably the most strenuous out of all of them. It's It definitely takes easily the most amount of time to deal with. This is a cool move to do, too, the Solar Flare. Not quite like the one from Dragon Ball Z, where, you know, they, they touch their... They touch, like, the tips of their of their temples, and just yell out Solar Flare, and it illuminates the area and blinds their enemies. Uh, this is actually probably a much more visually intimidating format to do it with. Hey, I uh, ripped the head off a god, so I'm just gonna light the path this way. Hope that's okay with you. If you have any complaints, you you can feel free to uh, send it to to PR. Yes. It's getting close. I told you, I cannot help you. But you're the only one who can. I know it. I trust you. <laughs> He's like, really? This is what I'm gonna be doing today. God damn it. Like, been trying to get my work done all day, and now I'm stuck in child affairs. Fantastic. Yeah, this part, this part of the, uh, of the path is, is easily the most annoying. So, prepare yourselves for that. Okay, let's aggravate a harpy again, because that's one of my favorite things to do. Nothing quite like spending your Thursday by aggravating harpies by shooting them in the tits with a bow. Hey! There we go. All right. So this is another area in which, if you're not careful, you're totally gonna miss a chest. I will show you exactly how to pull that off in just a minute, because we're gonna fight probably the second most annoying enemy in the entire game with these bastards, with their crazy, like, like semi-circle swords that they got going on. Oh, they're the worst. However, you can make it a lot easier on yourself if you pull them out of the ground using the L1 and circle technique. And then you can sit here and do this eternal juggling move with them. It's it's really the only way to fly when you're when you're killing these pieces of shit. They are the worst. But if you can keep them up there long enough, you will you will eventually kill them. Come to Papa. <laughs> I also love just the whole the whole action that happens there when you pull them out of the ground. I think it's great. There we go, that's one down. But of course, there's always there's always more than two of these. And that's another thing that really doesn't it really doesn't help you to do the regular combo that I normally do to inflict a lot of damage. You just gotta go all out on the squares for this. It's really the only combo that will keep them up like that. If you if you do any other one, then it really doesn't help you much. Alright, alright, enough. Yeah, that's that's how I love to kill them. I love when you grab them out of the ground and, and slam them on the floor and it actually just kills them. Yep. And... And... Oh, didn't quite get him. There we go. God, I hate those guys. They are the worst. So, come down here. And we can just, uh, kind of jump. No, no, no! Oh my god, jeez. Whew, that was, uh... Okay, oh yeah, there's just ground down here. I For some reason I thought there wasn't. <laughs> god, that was almost bad. It's actually... 
Yeah, just it's not one of the golden chests, but it's it's souls, and we do need those. Never miss one of those if if you can if you can uh, if you can remember. We only need a few more, and we'll actually have all that we need to be able to uh, upgrade our our uh, head of Helios to maximum capacity. And there is a hidden thing right here. At least I think. Maybe not. I can totally see some stuff around here. Aha! That's where it is. Aha! I knew there was something there. I just forgot you gotta you gotta break that thing down first before it'll allow you to actually uncover it. You thought you had me, game. You thought you had me, but you didn't. And having the extra health will be really nice in this in this situation because this area is full of bastards. I mean, chock full of them to the brim. If yeah, if you need if you need the health going into this area, I highly advise that you do it. It's a most certainly the best option because there's so much stuff going on over here that uh, if you don't do it, you're really going to wish that you had. Oh, and we just threw him off the cliff. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I mean, that's that's certainly fine by me. Oh, come on. What is this? What is he? Fucking Keiko right here? Just doing like... <laughs> he like came out of the ground and just flew over me as, uh, yeah, as, as like, as graceful as possible. It was actually quite funny. Just gonna keep getting more of these fools, huh? Come on. Come on. Enough of the bullshit. And that'll throw him off the old, uh, off the old schneid there. Might be able to have the same fate for this one. Sure did. Alright. Yeah, that's a situation where I don't even care about getting the orbs, uh, for that. The souls, the orbs, whatever you want to call them. I just, uh, ah, oh, they're so not worth it to me. They're just the worst people. What's over here? Ah, ha, ha. Another hidden one. I actually don't even know if I knew that one was there, to be honest with you. Weird. Huh. How about that? <laughs> you learn things all the time. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We all kind of learned some today. Be extremely observant when you're in this area, because they totally have one hiding over there that you literally wouldn't know unless you accidentally stumbled upon it. There's there's, there's absolutely no way to realize that that's even there. Okay. So let's uh, let's explore this area a little bit. It looks like we might end up having a little bit of a shorter episode today, uh, just because I don't know how long it's going to be until we see our next save point, and I don't want to end up you know going like another 15 minutes before we uh, find another one, so... Let's see, there is... Aha! Definitely a hidden one over here. That's how they get you. It's not a not a gold box, but it is it is souls, and we need that. Okay. Now we can do the head of Helios. Finish that thing off, finally. Thank you, controller. <laughs> that, was, that was certainly just a small amount of overkill, I would say. Did we get everything we needed out of this? It would appear that we have. Just to be on the safe side, I gotta make one more one more trip around the horn. Just to make sure there's nothing uh, nothing fishy hiding out back here. I think we're good though. I just always feel like there's one box that I'm missing every time I come in here. Nope, we're good. Okay, it was just that one over there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to save right here, and when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play God of War 3, we are going to go floating up this thing all to see where this, uh, to see where this, ch oh no, I didn't mean to do it, oh god, alright, well, we're going, god damn it, <laughs> oh, well, I guess you get to see where this is going now, we are flying up the chain of balance right now, I didn't mean to do it, but we're... We're gonna do it anyways. This is bonus material, my friends. <laughs> God. I didn't even mean to do that. I, I meant to just, like, do a double jump and then just, you know, float back down, but I forgot if you if you hold X, then he deploys the wings, and the wings will make you... Uh, they'll make you fly up this thing. It's, I mean, it's not a really long thing. I just forget whether there's a save point at the end of it or not. 
It suddenly makes me think no, considering they put the save point right before it. So, I love this section though. It's it's really cool because you just you get to really it's really close quarter stuff, man. You get to see all this debris falling at you while you're flying straight up at it at breakneck speeds and you got to kind of maneuver around to make sure nothing gets you. Dude, it's it's awesome. It's not an instant death if you if you collide with any of those things. Um but it is just uh, really, really cool looking in general. Hey, there's Kronos again. Hey, how's it going? Been so long since I've seen you. What? What are you doing? Oh, I'm blind! God! Well, there he goes. <laughs> now, now he's, uh, he's got another thing to worry about. Okay, let's move. Because this thing is crumbling. This thing is, uh, it's... It is rumbling, it is bumbling, and it is most certainly stumbling all at the same time. This area is a pain. Oh! Yep. Oh, God! Okay. Alright, stop going that way. I'm telling you to go this way. Jesus. Um, nothing there. Been... Oh, yeah, there is. Down you go. Down you go. There is a secret box at the end of this, uh, at the end of this little maze here, so... Keep an eye out for that. I will show you exactly where it is, obviously, because it is my job as a man and your tour guide to do so. But we're gonna we're gonna do it. All right, so we just gotta go up this little this little uh, labyrinth of crap again. Oop. <laughs> oh God! Ugh. When you play this game on the really hard difficulties, those things are almost they're pretty much like death strokes if you get hit by one. So that's why. I mean, when you're, when you're playing on this difficulty, you can get away with it from time to time, but, I mean, it will certainly behoove you to be much more uh, cautious of your uh, surroundings here. And make sure that your, uh, your fast fingers are in full effect. Come on, Kratos. Slam that sword into the wood as fast as you can. Okay, so, you see this weird kind of weird looking uh, mist forming around this. If you use the head of Helios, it will uncover secret boxes. And so we're going to be doing a shitload of that. I mean, they're, they're going to really go into overkill mode as far as that's concerned. It, it, it gets to be pretty ridiculous. Alright. And we're good. So, now we may move on once again. And gotta get make sure you get plenty of momentum. We all we all learned how to do that at our best ability just by you know riding the swings back in the day. Always had to make sure before the dismount that you had the, the absolute pinnacle of, of momentum available to get the biggest jump. You know, <laughs> of course I did that once when I was a kid. I, I I was on my swing set in the backyard and I I got as much possible momentum as I could get without, you know, like, flying over the back of the, uh, over the swing set. And, uh, so I, I ended up jumping and I released. And when I, when I landed, I landed just, like, flat-footed completely. And I ended up biting down on my tongue and just, like, really just cut my tongue wide open. It was, it was pretty gross. A lot of blood. Definitely, uh, tasted like a roll of pennies. It was pretty disgusting. And just ugh. Surprisingly, though, I didn't like I didn't like chip or crack any teeth by doing that because I really bit down pretty hard. Okie dokie. I will say one thing: this area, this area looks so cool, but I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it with so much passion. The caverns is one hell of an area. It, it really is. We'll be visiting here more than once, so. Just, uh, prepare. <laughs> He's like, jeez. Somebody's got quite the fetish with boxes, I can see. Okay, so let's start looking around a little bit here. This is, this area in particular, they really like to, uh, they really like to, uh, ha ha, see? They like to hide them. Minotaur horn. Cool. Now our, uh, special item bar has gone up a little bit to complement this whole thing. I'm cool with that. That one was getting a little bit. That one was getting a little low. So I'm glad that we were able to uh, to do that. We'll get this thing rolling. Got a little bit of moving to do. Um, oh, you know what? There's going to be some enemies that pop up on this, I believe, and we will be able to use the head of Helios to fight them. Oh, 
had some indigestion there. Ooh. Made a couple of uh, turkey and ham sandwiches, and they were kind of coming back up on me there for a second. Ugh. At least I didn't get, like, any of that kind of sort of vomit taste when you, that you get sometimes when you throw up in your mouth a little bit. It was like, it really stayed down in the in the very bottom of my, uh, my throat, so that's, that's always good. Okay. It's a very, this is a very time-consuming little thing, it, that, and that's part of why it annoys me. I get it, though. This is, this is a, a leviathan of a device. It is huge. So I get it. I mean, these things, obviously, they're not gonna be, you know, flying at the speed of light or anything, but... There we go. Go up to this thing, up here, <laughs> do this awesome little swirly gig move, and there we have it. Okay, any more hidden boxes over here? It does not appear so. We'll just take care of this one. This one, this one, yeah, this is the one that's the pain in the ass. I believe this is the one where people start coming up the sides of the box. Yep, here they come. So this this one is very. You got to be very careful with this one uh, because if you're not careful, we're gonna start getting a number of people showing up, especially like the minotaurs. Uh, not not like the the big big guys, uh, but the minotaurs. They'll actually start trying to break the chain on these boxes. Like they'll start just hacking away at these things, and that is bad. We uh, we cannot allow that to happen, and we're not going to. Go. Yeah. See, when you upgrade this, you can you can fire this uh, this little thing a lot more frequently, which makes it way more conducive for killing these guys with. So that's why it's really just it's really just better for you to wait. These are the guys I'm talking about. You can't let them go and start. See, they'll go to this thing. They'll start hitting it, and you can't allow that to happen because if they break through it enough, then you are gonna be in trouble. So. We won't let it happen. We're gonna we're just gonna cut them right down to size here. Maybe. <laughs> they don't seem to really want to cooperate. That one goes down. Yeah. Yeah. That was terrible. That was terrible aim on his part. <laughs> there there is no excuse for that one. That one was just awful. <laughs> he just like ran right by and just like, oh well, okay, I I missed. I forgot, I forgot to put my glasses on. My, my depth perception's all off today. I, I try. I tried to tell. I tried to tell my commander in chief about that, but he just told me, "Oh well, whatever. You're just that's what you get for forgetting, Steve." There we go. I'll take him out real quick. Oof! Nice little snappy, snappy there. And we got another round of people. Okay. Kind of trying to get all these guys in one straight line so I can affect them all with it, but apparently it doesn't really want to work out that way. There we go. That one's dead. Let's also not forget that we do have um, quite the amount of, uh, of magic to use here, so if we need to use that to our disposal, we, we most certainly can do it. We're gonna have another round of Minotaurs coming up from the side here in just a minute. I think they're gonna be showing up here in uh, just a second. You can definitely kill these guys up here too with uh, with the Helios thing. Um, they're they're definitely not out of reach for it, but you want to make sure you kill these guys first before you even think about trying it, because it's just uh, it's it's too time consuming to get right into the right position for it. Oh no, you don't. I saw what you were trying to do. I'm not gonna let you. Really, really close to a save point also, by the way. Um, just to get that little point out in the open here. Alright, here we go. Give me the old swirly gig real quick. And then uh, give me the old, the old, uh, the old snap, snap fitness there. Oh, you bastard, you stopped my combo. I was really gonna lay the I was gonna lay the old uh, the big hurt Frank Thomas down on him right there, but he definitely said no. He uh, he definitely said no to drugs right there. 
Okay, now we can take care of these guys real quick, like. Oh, come on. There we go. It's actually almost more beneficial to use the burning shot there. I didn't really think about that. Because it will kill them in one, in one go. Oh my god, there's more of them? Man, this, this episode is going to be a lot longer than I thought. Which is exactly... I was exactly right in, in saying, like, I really wanted to get this thing stopped where I did. Because, uh, I mean... Oh, damn it, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my... I was looking at the clock on my, uh... On my feed there. Okay, here we go. We can do another one of the rounds of these again. Just, uh, try to burn these guys up real fast. Uh, that way they can't... Ruin this whole thing for me. Might actually be able to do a little, uh, little flamethrower on him. Yeah. Not really what I wanted though. I, was, I really wanted to try to get three of those things down, um, but didn't really work out that way. So this is going to be kind of a problem. It's going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, not too bad though, because one of them's already ready to go right here. Come on, come on, baby, come on. There we go. That's certainly done. And now we can start working on these two. There we go. Yeah, once you get in a groove for this little move here, it is a godsend. I love it. Hey -ya! There it is. Okay, one more. I'm sure his confidence has to be pretty low right about now. <laughs> Watching the other four of his of his uh, of his comrades of the exact uh, of the exact same size and strength just being ripped to total shreds by this uh, very small but powerful man. Okay, God, we've done the same thing here. Come on, there we go, man. He really didn't want to go. He was he was in last stand mode right there, but eh, they all end up going. Okay, are we good? Are we finally good here? Is this thing gonna raise me up to where I can get a damn checkpoint? We've gotta be close. There seriously can't be any more of this shit going on. Oh my god, there's more. Okay, you know what? We're gonna call it good right here. This, uh, this just seems like an appropriate place to stop for the time being. So, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play God of War 3, we're going to have to go talk to that man with the fiery hair. And I, I assure you, it, it is not Goku. He, he is not in Super Saiyan mode. He is just a super jackass. That's what he is. So, when we come back next time, we're going to go talk to him and uh, see what he has to say. So, until then, my friends, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. The episode won't be nearly as long next time, too. I can promise you that. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.